This is what we're looking. This is free. We've got all this. Look at this. And now we're in the Karajini. So this is the gorge. Today. 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 Do you have gorges where you are? Are they called gorges? Today. 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 It's a shame that people leave their rubbish. So Michelle won't come down here, but this is a little steel step here. You can stand on the edge. Here we go. There are people coming up through the rocks. There's some people that have gone right down the bottom there. And there's the gorge. There's quite a few people in the park. I mean, it is quite touristic. Have you done? Uh, yesterday we were here. We're just looking where we came from. Yeah. <laughs> just checking out what you did yesterday. <laughs> G'day. How are you going? We're good. How are you? Not bad. Thank you. It looks like a hard way up. Like a hundred meters down. I reckon so. Have you been all the way down to the bottom? Yeah, we started at the other end and went down. No, that's a Today. 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 You have to pay to come into the park. That's thirteen dollars. And then you have to pay if you want to stop in the uh, the campsites, and they range from twenty dollars per person to about eleven dollars per person. So it's quite expensive. On top of your fees. On top of your park fee. So that's per day. Uh, generators welcome. So this little loop here, they're saying you can have generators. So the, somebody said to me there was no, um, no generators in the National Park. But clearly they, they don't mind them in here. They've also put the little tents, little cup tents are up here. What disappoints me? But you get told by people, oh, you must visit the Karajini. And you pay a monthly pass, $47. There's an entrance that they call the Karajini National Park. This is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometers, thousands of kilometers of, of the Karajini National Park. You don't have to pay to come in here. This is all free to the public. So there's a tiny little area back there which the government have designated the Karangini National Park. And they've worked out that if they put a, a handful of people in an expensive information center and a, a few volunteers, they can charge, I think a family to go in there, you'd put, I don't know if they charge per children, but so, okay, two adults, you're gonna be paying $22 a night to camp in there with no real facilities, just a, a dry toilet. And another $13 to go into the park for the day and they can contain it it's only a tiny area i was really surprised we were in and out of it in 10 minutes this is meant to be a national park it's meant to be something epic and and and, and huge and everywhere we went there were just more and more tourists wandering around with their cameras taking photographs and to pay to do it <laughs> does anyone understand what i'm what i'm saying i don't know if you're a traveler, if you've traveled a lot, you probably understand where I'm coming from. To pay to go into that park was just not worth it. This is the Karajini Park. All of this is the Karajini Park. But the bit that they want you to see is down there. And down there, they can control how much they charge you to see it. Um, and out here, they can't. It's too big for them to, to manage. So, don't pay to go into these places. If it's your thing, then you should, if it's your thing. But if, you, uh, if you're anything like uh, we are, and you just love the outdoors anyway, we have the perfect little campfire. It's just got, it's got embers so you can get it going. <laughs> We've got an area here that comes in. If we want to, we can block it off. It goes, uh, this, this camp spot, this free camp spot, goes for many kilometers. Like, you can just about in the distance see some, there's another side to it as well. It's the perfect little spot, completely secluded. It's clean. And this is what, I mean, if you're, if you, if, I don't know. You, can you see what I mean? 
how gorgeous is this? This is way in the Karajini Park. There are no public toilets or, or places to empty your caravan toilets. This is just somewhere you can come, you can find your own little piece of heaven. The only thing I can hear is the insects. Perfect. We're going to spend at least a couple of days here. Good, Michelle? Yeah. You probably can't see. We're parked <laughs> way down there, or camp parked, camped right way down there. But if you choose to, you can come even further off road. Little lizard there. Now getting a bit of sun. You're disturbing him. That little fella. Hello. But this is nicer than the official Karajini Park to me. It just feels more rugged, more natural. More shade. It's a lot more shade. There's trees all over. And you've got a view. <laughs> got a beautiful view. Had no view in the Karajini, in the campsites. The only thing you had a view of was the, uh, the toilets <laughs> and a uh, really bad smell coming from the, uh, what do they call those places? Um, dump, point. dump points for the caravans. Very strong smell. None of that up here. Got some probably European backpackers. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. What are you doing with the tenons or up here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to make like a little fish so I can make a necklace or something. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Where nice you guys? Where you guys from? We're from Canada. Okay. We're from France. Okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonsoir. 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 Bonjour. Bon après-midi. <laughs> and they're just here for the night, but um, he's whittling away on a piece of wood. And he was saying it's really hard to find wood in this camp spot. I didn't like to say where we pulled up. There's a big pile of somebody kind of left behind a lot of good hardwood. I'll show you when we get cooking later on, when we get the fire cooking. So what I've got is the onions, little tuna, little sausage cooking up in there. We we'll some sauce into that. And I can lower down, I can higher this up, you see, by just moving. You stand back a little bit, Michelle. You mm -hmm. see, I can just uh, adjust where this sits by just not actually doing the hook, but just I'm going to bring it right down. It's virtually on the coals and get that pasta up to temperature. Let's pop that in there. A bit of mushroom sauce. So we're cheating here. We're going with a store-bought mushroom, cream of mushroom sauce. Chicken tonight. Shake that up, get the last of the sauce out. Unfortunately, we've got the generator on, just to me. We've got the generator on because the fridge unplugged while we were driving and it wasn't cool, so we've got to run the generator now because the fridge is getting too warm. The last of the sauce in there. Turn the gas down, it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I can adjust the heat on this. I'll just pop that to the side. I've got uh, three little stones. I've got some hot coals underneath. It'll be a little hotter on the side that's near to the fire. That's okay. But actually most of the heat is coming out from those coals that are just underneath there. I'll keep us going tonight. Nice and hot. Almost the same colour as our sunset. Look at that. Pasta is cooked. Beautiful. Hopefully, the billy handle, because the billy handle stays up, it's not hot. So we're just going to lift this over with a little extra water. And this water that we use to cook the pasta in will uh, clean, our, clean our pan, clean out. Uh, our oven with that lovely creamy sauce we're ready to serve campfire pasta in a creamy mushroom sauce <laughs> now you're, you're dark and a bit of sun that's good yum yum oh a little hot 
That's good. And the camera then adjusted for that beautiful sunset. With a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? It takes paradise, put up a parking lot. It took all the trees, put them in a tree museum. Charge the people a dollar and a half just to see them. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? You pay for it, I put up a parking lot. Hey, farmer, farmer, put away the DDT now. Give me spots on the apples, or leave me the birds and the bees. Go, that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. The three paradise, put up a parking lot. Late last night, I heard the screen door slam. And a big yellow taxi took away my old man. Don't it always seem to go? That you don't know what you've got till it's gone. You pay paradise, put up a parking lot. I said, don't it always seem to go? But you don't know what you've got till it's gone. We pay paradise, put up a parking lot. We pay paradise, put up a parking lot. Up a parking lot. <laughs>